So I'd like to start with a um, question. What is the most memorable TV ad of all time? For the older ones in the audience, it might be this 1984 Apple ad. Uh, it might be Coca-Cola. It might be Guinness. Or it might be uh, the Evian Baby ads um, that I know it was so popular in Paris. But if I was to ask you what your most memorable ad is on a mobile, I think you would struggle. And there's a reason for that. TV is a fantastic medium for reaching millions of people and engaging with people at an emotional level. However, technology has moved on. Today we use mobile phones. They're our first device, quite often our only device. We touch them, we swipe, we use gesture. These phones are full of fantastic technology, gyroscope, haptics, accelerometers. So isn't it about time that the advertising we do today taps into this technology? And that's what we at Adludio have been doing for the last couple of years, delivering what we call sensory advertising, which is a multi-sensory approach to ads on mobile devices. So I'm going to show you a quick showreel now of the type of ads that we've been running. Then I'll talk very quickly around the technology and then some of the results that we get as a result. So play. We have sound. So how do we fuse this creativity with technology? Well, good creative is only so good if it's delivered quickly and um, in a responsive manner. And in order to overcome that, Adludio has created a new proprietary technology. First thing we do is we deliver through something called the Canvas, which is a protocol of HTML5 that was meant to replace Flash. The trouble is it's very difficult to work in. So we've created a markup language on top of it, which allows us to deliver ads with lightning speed, super creative, um, and incredibly responsive. Secondly, it allows us to tap into the functionality of the phone. So we can deliver things using the haptics, the gyroscope, and the accelerometers on the phone. Thirdly, we've created a studio on top of that, which will allow our designers from around the world to create super cool creative ads in lightning time. Lastly, we're delivering or building out the next generation of creative optimization. We call it genetic optimization. The process is simple. We take one creative, some artificial intelligence will then create multiple variants of that creative, we will optimize to an KPI, 
kill off the underperforming creatives, and then the algorithm will mutate the winner in order that we can squeeze out as much performance as possible from our creative. So what do the results look like? Well, we've been lucky enough to work with hundreds of um, brands over the last couple of years. This is one we recently ran for National Geographic. Um, in this instance, we had a simple swipe down which led onto a full video. Mobile CTR of over 6% higher than normal and four times greater than standard online video. This is a fantastic example of us tapping into the functionality of the phone to create a 3D effect um, for a cocktail um, for Smirnoff. Um, again, in this instance, we had over 13% awareness uplift and an eight times greater message association. Next ad is my favorite. It's one we've just released for Jaguar. And this is all about getting someone to feel what it's like to um, own a Jaguar. So in this, sense, in this one, there was a lot of sounds. I don't know if that's playing. But again, there's a simple interaction in order that you would get the, uh, hear the sound of what it was like to have a Jaguar. And once again, in this instance, we would get up to 9% um, percent higher sentiment uplift, which again is eight times uh, greater than normal. So one of the other standout stats that we've run through a lot of independent brand studies is that a multi-sensory approach to advertising can be up to 10 times more memorable than standard online advertising. And there's a reason for it. A lot of you, or some of you here, are writing notes. You're doing so not that you can read back on those notes. You're doing so that you will internalize the message. It is exactly the same proposition when you are engaging with an ad. The element of touch and swipe and gesture triggers something called kinesthetic learning. Um, and that is what our multi-sensory approach to advertising achieves. So who is Adludio? Well, we're headquartered in London. Uh, we have offices now in Singapore, New York, and shortly France. Everything we deliver, we deliver programmatically, so we can overlay as much location, behavioral, or contextual targeting as is required. We're delighted to announce that we've also now partnered as the creative partner of choice for Snapchat, bringing multi-sensory approach to advertising to the Snap Ads platform. So that's us, my time is up. Um, Adludio means to play in Latin. So I'd love some of you to come up later and touch and gesture with some of the phones as we can show you some of the multi-sensory approach um, on your device. Merci beaucoup. Thank you very much, Paul.